Welcome back. I wanted to start off this video with a little bit of a get ready with me. I haven't done a good vibey intro in a while. Um, what's up? What's new? I wanted to say, first of all, thank you guys so much for all your comments and just like all of your love and support on um, the life update video I posted a little while ago. I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Also wanted to start off this video by showing you guys my new sofa. I cannot express to you guys how much I love this sofa. I had a sofa before that I hated if you've been watching my videos you would know that already it just was so uncomfortable it was hard I never like relaxed on the couch in the living room and just watch TV now it's like one of my favorite things to do I know it sounds so silly but honestly I just did I just hated my couch and I literally had that couch for like a year and a half and it just was not doing it for me so I finally sold it I was able to sell it on offer up which is a great way to sell um, furniture but more importantly I got a new sofa from Castlery I'm super excited because they are the sponsor of today's video if you're not familiar with them they are basically a direct-to-consumer furniture brand they make high quality furniture at accessible prices so I decided to go with the Adams Chase sectional I love the fabric on it it's basically the perfect shade of beige but I love the fabric on it because it has a little bit of stitching like black stitching in it so it's perfect for pets it's also nice and durable as well my old couch was more of like a velvety fabric which does not really work that well with pets so I used to always keep like a blanket on it this one I don't even have to worry about that it cleans so nicely still has that kind of white appeal that I love and goes with my living room so so well I decided to go with gold legs as well this time just to kind of warm things up a little bit and I honestly I just love it it's been such a nice addition to my place so yeah you guys should definitely go check out Castlery all of their designs feature a fusion of elements from mid-century to contemporary and they are all created in-house and in collaboration with award-winning international designers I also made sure to get like white glove delivery so that they set it up for me it literally took them maybe 20 minutes to build it and have it all set. They took the trash out for me, they took the cardboard with them, and honestly, it was phenomenal. They also have a 14 day return policy, as well as warranty coverage, flat rate shipping, and free fabric swatches as well. So I will make sure to leave the link down below for you guys for the sofa I got, as well as Castlery. And yeah, check that out if you guys are interested in getting new furniture. It's a few days later and I'm finally going to go get a haircut. I'm going to 901. I love it there. I see Clint. I think his name is Clint Torres. I'll put his Insta down below or right here. He is the best and he just makes my hair look bomb. Um, and it's worth every penny, truly. So I'm going to get a haircut and I think I'm going to try doing some bangs. Um, this is my hair like right now. Let me show you in the mirror. So this is my hair right now. I have zero layers practically. If I do have any layers, like in the back, it's pretty much from just like hair that's broken off from being in a ponytail at the gym and obviously when I bleach it it just gets a lot weaker so I definitely have some breakage up here in the bangs if you guys can see and I just feel like I might as well try bangs I'm not doing straight across bangs I mean like 70s like Farrah Fawcett bangs whatever I'll post a picture here but this length maybe like eye length so they can grow out I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to see what he says, but I have these hairs in the front that are all broken off anyway. So I figured I might as well, right? Anywho, um, I also ask for highlights, a partial highlight. The last time I got it done was about six months ago, and I had him do like just some partial highlights here on the front pieces of the bangs and then a few highlights down below. I, I feel like you can barely see that my hair has any color to it, but in the sun, it's really bright. But for whatever reason it's looking kind of dull and um, obviously the blonde that I had has just grown out so much so I'm going to definitely move a lot of it up I want to do some 
chunkier pieces here in the bangs. Very natural, a balayage look still so I can grow my hair out. I rarely ever get it done, honestly, mostly because it's just really pricey and I just don't need to. I hate getting things done, like nails, hair, lashes. I don't have the patience to like sit in a chair for hours and hours, so I really dread this. I know some girls love this stuff, but not me. I like the most low maintenance everything. <laughs> um, if I could just wake up looking good, that's you know what I will do. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown on the hair so you know what I'm asking for. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of like inspo pics I'm gonna show um, Clint so you guys can see what I'm getting done or if you wanna like use the inspo pics. Tons of gaps, need a haircut so bad look at that oh my god that's crazy i just have so much breakage right now because i spend so much time at the pool and i'm constantly washing my hair lately and constantly combing it and it's just like it's taking a beating even though i know it still looks pretty healthy um but like i look at old videos of myself when my hair was like really dark almost black and i'm like oh my hair was so healthy but the reality is is your hair just doesn't look as healthy and nice when you have blonde hair or you bleach it it just doesn't look as healthy as dark black hair um so that's the only caveat but yeah other than that that's what I'm gonna do. That is my hair spiel. I went on far too long. I will see you guys at 901. Can't believe I'm showing you yet again another OOTD with this freaking Zara bodysuit on. What can I say? It just is so clutch and comfortable when you're just like running errands, doing whatever. Zara bodysuit, Abercrombie jeans, they're huge. Ugh, they're freaking huge, but I still love them. I wanted to wear bigger jeans today because I'm gonna be sitting for hours and obviously I want to be comfortable, but I love the um, I Forget what these are called. I think these are called dad jeans and they're supposed to be big I even ordered a size down and they're still too big So definitely if you want them I'll link if I can find them again, but size down um, They're really cute though I think my Uber's pulling up now. So good, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. It looks so good. Okay, this is how it looks. I'm home now. I just wanted to kind of give it a minute to settle in. I don't know. And kind of show you guys what it looks like at home. I'm obsessed, I love it. I feel like these bangs are very in right now and they just look so good. And let me show you in like a different mirror. Yes, I'm obsessed. It really isn't that much of a change. We just added some more highlights. Um, like in the front, we did a little bit um, of highlights down here as well. And we did a tiny bit of layers, like face framing layers to kind of 
blend the bangs in but um, other than that I just got a trim you don't understand like how much my hair needed a haircut so nice and fresh but he did this thing with my hair like in a flat iron I'm gonna post a little snippet over here but he like bended flat iron just a few times throughout the hair to give it more of a wave then he also mixed in a few curls with like an actual curling iron so he used like two different tools which I thought was cool and then he also sprayed a ton of not a ton but he definitely sprayed quite a bit of dry shampoo I think is what it's called I don't actually ever use dry shampoo. I usually don't like the way that it makes my hair feel, but I usually, if I ever use it, I use it like at the tail end of my hair washing cycle. So when I use it once my hair is already greasy and he used it like as my hair had just freshly been washed and styled, which I thought was interesting. So maybe I, you can try that um, for my girls who like work out a ton, like using dry shampoo before your hair gets greasy instead of after. It actually makes a lot of sense now that I think of it, but I just never did that. Anyways, I love it. I think it's going to grow out really well as well. And I wanted to do the bangs a little bit shorter. That way they would last. And I'm just I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm done talking about it. I'll catch you guys later.